Now, fast forward. It's 2019. I'm in a restaurant in Ohio, a very nice restaurant. It's Thanksgiving week. Uh, and to be honest, a nice restaurant, but it's a nice restaurant if you're a white person from Ohio that's never been anywhere before. <laughs> Picture chilies. <laughs> I'm sitting in the bar, I'm having a drink by myself, and the only other person in the bar is a woman, a couple stools down, and she was alone. She was older, and that made me feel sad because it was the holidays. So I told the bartender, send that woman a drink on me. She's trying to spread the cheer, and I wish I didn't. <laughs> this one wanted to talk. She wasn't mean, she was nice, but she just wanted to talk about shit that, you know I mean? The nigga that's trying to get drunk, they want to hear about this bitch remodeling her bathroom, and I'm, I'm sitting there trying to be polite, oh, subway towels, word. <laughs> but then she hits a lick, piqued my interest. She says, my daughter is coming home for the holidays. Oh, that's great news, I'm glad you're not gonna be alone. Then she goes on and on about how great her daughter is. I guess her daughter got a new agent, and she's out in Hollywood, she's in movies and on television and all this stuff. And as she's telling me this, I'm thinking, this woman is so sweet. She probably doesn't even know who I am or what I do for a living. Because I know what your daughter's out in Hollywood doing. <laughs> and then she goes, would you like to see her picture? Oh, no, I don't want to see this woman's picture, but what am I going to do? I go, okay, yeah, sure, I'd love to, I'd love to, I'd love to see the picture. And, and I grab the picture. I say, this is all I say. <gasps> oh, she's very beautiful. And as she puts the picture away, she, she looks mean all of a sudden, like she caught me in some kind of trap. What does that face mean? And then she goes, she's transgender. <laughs> and I think to myself, oh, this bitch does know who I am. I really resented that trap because that trap doesn't let me be honest. If I was honest, I wouldn't fall for it. I just looked at the picture like, ooh, look at that big chisel jawline, that big thick Joe Rogan neck. Is that a dude? Is your daughter a man? Can't say that shit. It's really annoying. Fast forward, now it's a couple days later. It's the Wednesday. <laughs> for the Thursday that's Thanksgiving, and I'm in a totally different bar. And this bar, trust me, is not a nice place. It's foul. It's one of those bars where the top shelf should be under the sink. <laughs> this is where the poor whites drink, the Tiki Torch whites. You know what I mean? The white people, they believe in Q and they love Trump. You know what I mean? Like Michigan white people. I remember I was at this bar one time. This is that kind of bar it is. I was in there one time, I was fucked up. And I turn around to everybody in the bar and go, hey, everybody, I'm gonna buy everyone in the bar a round of drinks. And I'm up, I was like, hoorah! And the bartender knew I was drunk, so she pulled me aside. Mr. Chappelle, are you sure about that? That's going to be $16. <laughs> Tough time for the whites. And this was a holiday weekend, you know what I mean? These motherfuckers was having a rootin' tootin' time. They was in there partying and making all them noises. Woo! Ow! Yow! You know all them noises white people make before lynching? They was doing all that shit. <laughs> I was drunk. I looked over my shoulder. I thought I was tripping. I guess, guess it was in the bar. I thought I was seeing things. I looked across the room and I saw the trans bitch from the picture. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I said, what is a trans person doing in a place like this? This is very dangerous behavior. And she was with two big, buff, gay black dudes. I didn't know these dudes, but I know they was gay. <laughs> they had a dick in their mouth. They wouldn't look any gayer than they did just sitting there. <laughs> they had 1980s gay face. You know what that is? Remember in the 80s when gay people looked surprised all the time? Close your mouth, nigga, what's surprising, you know what I mean? <laughs> but they was huge, they looked like Juicy Smoothie's trainers. <laughs> and I'm thinking, man, these motherfuckers are in a line of trouble. So what I do is I stand up, and, and everybody in the bar likes me, so I make a big show of it to make sure that, that everyone can hear me. I, I walk right up to her, and I go, hey! I just met your mother the other night, and she told me all the great things you're doing in Hollywood, and I cannot believe that someone from a podunk place like this can achieve all that. I'm so proud of you. Welcome home. And the whole bar said, hoorah. <laughs> and I said, whew. That ought to buy her some time. <laughs> you know what I mean? A couple more drinks, and these fellas are gonna start 
asking her for some pussy she might not have. <laughs> and she was very gracious. She said, thank you so much. And she hands, and as she was shaking my hand, her face turned mean like a mom's. And she said, do you mind not punching down on my people? Oh, I don't like that. Normally I would have let it go, but I was drunk. I said, what might you mean, bitch? <laughs> I was careful to call her a bitch because I didn't want to blow her cover. <laughs> Turns out she wasn't hiding. She was loud, she was proud. She let me have it in front of everybody, screaming at me, all the talking points from that article, you transphobic this and that, kept clapping her hands in my face. Let me tell you something. I said, where you learned this from? Black bitches kept on, let me tell you something, honey. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> she kept calling trans genders her people. Isn't that weird? My people this, my people that. I said, what do you mean your people? Was well, y'all kidnapped in Transylvania, brought here as slaves. <laughs> She said, my people have struggled for decades, honey. Decades. And I looked at them gay black dudes like, is there anything you niggas need to tell this bitch? <laughs> Clifford, Clifford. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. She's actually a very nice person, and, and I'm cool with her now, but boy, that shit got on my nerves. And it got on my nerves because whenever someone says that to me, I know they've never seen me for themselves. They just repeat what they've heard. Any of you, who have ever watched me know that I have never had a problem with transgender people. If you listen to what I'm saying, clearly, my problem has always been with white people. <laughs> I have been arguing with the whites my entire career. And just when I thought I had you guys on the ropes, you changed all the rules. Oh, yeah? Yeah, motherfucker. Well. <laughs> I'm a girl now, nigger, and you must treat me as such. <laughs> Call me a girl, nigger. It's annoying as fuck. No, no. Go back, go back tonight after the show. Watch every special I did on Netflix. Listen to everything I ever said about that community. I'll go through them. I said, how much do I have to participate in your self-image? I said, you shouldn't discuss this in front of black people. I said, I know niggas in Brooklyn that wear high heels just to feel safe. I asked you, why is it easier for Bruce Jenner to change his gender than it is for Cassius Clay to change his name? If you listen to what I'm saying, I'm not even talking about them, I'm talking about us, and they don't listen. <laughs> it's very annoying. And they've canceled people that are more powerful than me. They canceled J.K. Rowling, my God, J.K. Rowling wrote all the Harry Potter books by herself. <laughs> she sold so many books, the Bible worries about her. And I canceled her because she said in an interview, and this is not exactly what she said, but effectually, she said, gender was a fact. And then the trans community got mad as shit. They started calling her a turf. I didn't even know what the fuck that was. <laughs> but I know that trans people make up words to win arguments. <laughs> so I looked it up. Turf is an acronym. It stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist. This is a real thing. This is a group of women that hate transgender, they don't hate transgender women, but they look at trans women the way we blacks might look at blackface. It offends them, like, ooh, this bitch is doing an impression of me. <laughs> now, I shouldn't speak on this, because I am not a woman, nor am I a trans. But as we've established, I am a feminist. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm Team Turf. I agree. I agree, man. Gender is a fact. You have to look at it from a woman's perspective. Look at it like this. Caitlyn Jenner, whom I've met, wonderful person. Caitlyn Jenner was voted Woman of the Year. Her first year as a woman. Ain't that something? Beat every bitch in Detroit, she's better than all of you. <laughs> Never even had a period, ain't that something? Oh, I'd be mad as shit if I was a woman. I'd be mad if I was me. If I was in a BET Awards sitting there and they're like, and the winner for nigger of the year, Eminem, my man. <laughs> Gender is a fact. This is a fact. Every human being in this room, every human being on Earth 
had to pass through the legs of a woman to be on Earth. That is a fact. Now, I am not saying that to say that trans women aren't women. I am just saying that those pussies that they got, you know what I mean? I'm not saying it's not pussy, but that's like beyond pussy or impossible pussy. You know what I mean? It, it tastes like pussy, but that's not quite what it is, is it? It's not blood, that's beet juice. <laughs> oh, buddy, I'm in trouble now.